Hi, this is Greg Robinson from MyPhotographyShow.com, where you can send your photos in for a free critique. That's exactly what Ed did with this image. Thanks, Ed, for sending your image in. What we're going to do is have a look at this image in several different parts. Well, we'll have a brief look at your settings first off, then we'll go into your composition and probably talk a bit about your subject matter. Let's go. So, uh, in terms of settings, you decided to use 400 ISO for a shutter speed of 1 1,000th of a second and an aperture of f11. What I would have suggested here, because you've got one single subject that you want to isolate against your background, is to choose an aperture of f5.6 or less. This would have enabled you to bring your ISO down to 200 only because you're using a Nikon. If you were on a Canon, it would have been 100 ISO. So 200 ISO, but you could have brought your shutter speed to 1 2,000th of a second. So if I uh, come back on that, if in these same lighting conditions you chose an aperture of f-5.6, you would have been at 1 2,000th of a second at 200 ISO. Okay? Uh, compositionally great, I love what you've done. I would have only suggested as usual to make this image a little more readable, uh, to flip it. Uh, I can never remember which one it is, let's try horizontal. Yes, that's right. So flip it horizontally in order to make the uh, to enable the viewer basically to read the image from left to right. Okay, which is always easier in our occidental world. We're used to reading from left to right. Um, secondly, probably zooming in a bit more on this bird. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's have a try throughout crops. Um, this obviously should have been done with. Uh, well, actually, I noticed you've cropped this image, so. It, because it's turned into a square. I would suggest you select your entire original image, that way you get the, the formats, then when you hold down the shift key, uh, you can move your, um, your cursor like that, and as you can see, it capes the dimensions, whilst if I let go of the shift key, then it just goes all over the place. Given that you cropped it, uh, you must have gotten rid of something on the left or on the right, I don't know. I would suggest cropping it to something about like that. So you come back to the original 4x3 format, uh, roughly, and it makes that image <clears throat> just a little more, excuse me, a, a little more interesting because we have less of this uh, foreground that didn't bring much to the composition. I know that you had uh, a bit of a reflection from the bird here, but it's not interesting enough uh, for the well, to bring something to the uh, to the image. So just keep it like that. Probably makes it more interesting. Um, that's about it. Probably use a uh, polarizing filter on that water to make it a little more inter interesting. But in doing so, you would have lost a few stops of light. So there we go. Thanks, Ed, again for sending your image in. All you other viewers, do not hesitate to find us on Facebook, to find us on Twitter, and to go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and also come to myphotographyshow.com to send your photos in for a free critique. I insist on that point because please don't hesitate. It's free. Just have fun. You know, it might not be free forever because I'm... For the moment, there aren't many of you who are sending your images in, so uh, just take advantage of that and send your images in. I'll critique them with great joy. Hope to see you soon. This is Greg Robinson wishing you a good day.